So junk removal is typically a male-dominated um, business. Um, so when I go out there and price out jobs, they're looking at me like, you're a woman. And I'm like, yes, and I do a better job. <laughs> women need to be seen to be leaders of the world. And I think sometimes we can be great salespeople, um, not just the analytics of it, but we can appeal to people uh, on an emotional level rather than just maybe a business level. So we do have uh, some background in the junk hauling industry um, and I had an opportunity to um, open up a, another franchise um, and uh, when I was looking at different areas I just saw that Tucson was a really great market. Um, so I looked for um, a, a market that I wanted to enter into. Um, I was looking for a franchise uh, system that would support my goals and, and, and uh, my belief in, in what I wanted to achieve and Junk King was the perfect fit. You wouldn't think it because it's junk calling and most people think um, that's a man's job, I guess, if you will. It's dirty and whatnot. And although it can be, um, it's really not. You know, we think of it as a customer, more of a customer service type thing. And so it it's really works great for women because I think, you know, women are very good at uh, customer service and they put, you know, just a different spin on the whole junk removal approach and it, it's, it's nice. Well, just like I told my daughters, for many years women have been fighting for the same rights. My daughters are both in the military. Um, so we go out there, we get it done. Can I lift the same thing as a man? Nope. Am I smart enough to put it on a dolly, take it to the side of the truck and break it down and put it in pieces? Absolutely. Women make junk too, <laughs> so and we clean up a lot of junk after you guys. So it it, uh, it, it it's not. I don't think it's that unusual. Um, I am a certified woman-owned business by a third party, um, so that kind of gives me a, a unique uh, difference to you know men, which there's many opportunities if you have certification um, with different businesses um, and government entities and things like that. Um, you know, and if you're at, at some of the, the, you know, construction or remodeling organizations, you know, which is predominantly male oriented, um, I'm also the chairman of the Women in NARI, and NARI is a national association for the remodeling industry. So there's a group of women um, within NARI that, be, you know, because it is like you're right, it's a male dominated business, um, but we help to support each other and, and our businesses.